What do people do when they're sitting at home with their laptop in front of them for a year and a half? Invest in FTSE 100 stocks, that's what. New data that came out this morning from the London Stock Exchange has shown that an extra £12 billion has been invested by retail share traders into London Stock Exchange's FTSE 100 stocks over the first six months of this year. That's remarkable when you consider that companies in the FTSE 100, which are large firms, blue chip firms, have, okay, they've done pretty well over the last year and a half. You know, there's been a dichotomy between the small businesses that have suffered and the large businesses that have prospered, largely at the, uh, at the benefit of government contracts and so forth. However, those particular investors are taking a speculative and perhaps very intelligent view. They've been at home, there's been a lot of working from home and some lockdown, and of course a lot of people who have unfortunately lost their jobs. So they've turned to other financially independent ways of looking at funding their futures, and one of those has been trading. There's been a lot more trading over the last year and a half than in recent years put together. So. Those, are, those very analytical minds have been putting £12 billion collectively into the London Stock Exchange's FTSE 100 index in the first six months of the year, which, OK, it's not as much as it was last year, but of course last year was also a lockdown. But the year before that, 2019, there wasn't as much investment in the whole year as there was in the first six months of this year in the London Stock Exchange's FTSE 100 index. So, that's shrewd. They are, despite the, the, the supply chain issues, issues and the lockdowns and the perhaps curtailed business efforts of some of the companies in there, there are investors taking a long-term view and they've piled that money in and they've left it there. So that's an interesting matter. It has bolstered the value of the London Stock Exchange's FTSE 100 index over the last six months and actually the amount of capital inflows is quite remarkable. Aside from 2020, it's pretty much unprecedented for 10 years. Now, there's an interesting thought. Look at the analytical mind of the, of the population of the United Kingdom. Quite encouraging, really, if you ask me.